Hi, welcome to another edition of Easy Theory. Today we're going to show that regular languages are closed under division. And what do I mean by division? That means that we have two languages here, and I'm going to define A divided by B to be the set of all strings such that for some x in the second language, then, um, then wx is in A. So in other words, we're taking strings that are in A and chopping off a bit that belongs into B. So for example, if, um, if 0, 1, 1, 0 is in A and 1, 0 is in B, then that implies that 0, 1 is in A divided by B because what we're doing is we're chopping off some piece which is this one zero off of this string, so what we're left with is zero one, which means that zero one is in the division language. So what we're trying to do here is, if we have these two languages being regular, meaning that there's a DFA for them, then we can make a DFA or something for A divided by B. So pause the video and try to think about how you would actually solve this. Okay, so, how would you actually solve this? So let's just imagine a DFA for A. So this thing I'm going to imagine is a DFA for A. And of course it has a start state and let's say that it has a final state. Then what this means is that suppose that we had some state right here in the middle where if we read from the start state to it, then, then that means that, let's just say we read a string of the form w, and then from that state, eventually to a final state, it, we read something, let's call it x. Well, we need to land in a final state because uh, we're considering strings that are in A. So then that means that this string right here, we need to chop off in some sense. So that means that this state right here should be a final state because if this is the case. So for this state right here, if there is some way to read any string at all in B that lands in one of the final states here, then that means that we should make this a final state because that means that we would have read a string of the form wx and we're chopping off this last bit right here. So that means that this state should be a final state. And it could be that this state will no longer be final because it may be possible for uh, no string to be read to land in a final state somewhere else. So we're actually going to be modifying the final states, but the thing is we don't know necessarily what this string is, which is fine. The whole point of showing regularity is that I can show that the DFA actually exists, not that I can tell you exactly how to make it. If I tell you how to make it, then that's fine. But here, all we need to, need to do is just to show that the, the language is regular, that the DFA exists. So how would we prove this form formally? So let's let uh, D sub A um, be a DFA for A. So here I'm going to give the states Q, alphabet sigma, a delta Q0, F is a DFA for A. And then let's do one, maybe I should put subscripts on these. So I'll put A's on the subscripts for everything. And then D sub B is going to be a DFA for the language B. So it may have a completely different transition function, although we're not going to actually use it uh, here. So what do we want to do here? So what we want to do is we want to uh, note in our construction here, we didn't actually change any of the structure of the DFA here. All that we're doing is changing what a final state is. So what we want to do is, so we're not even going to use the DFA for B here. So let's define a DFA, I'm going to call it D, to be, oops. So here, the states are going to be the same as A's because 
we want this to be a DFA for A and then take away the parts that belong to B. So uh, the alphabet is, of course, the same. Uh, the transition function is going to be exactly the same because I don't modify any of the transitions themselves. All I do is I modify the final states. The start state is going to be the same. And then the final states are going to, of course, be different. So the, what is the final states going to be here? Well, it's going to be all of the states um, in, in that DFA. Because remember, all of the final states are just states. And then what are we doing here? What we're doing is we're saying that there exists, maybe I should do in English, exists a, a string x in um, b such that, well, here we want to be able to go from this state. So this q right here is representing this intermediate state right here. So what we want to do is we want to say, if there exists an x that lands us in one of the original final states, then we're going to mark it as a final state. Uh, mark this one as a final state. Such that um, reading x from that state q um, results in a state in f sub a. Okay, so that's exactly what our intuition is, because we're marking all of the states as being final now. If there is a way to read some string in the other language, such that we read from there, th from that state, reading that string, going to one of the original final states, because this state, you would have read the W part, the beginning part, and we are reading the x part, and originally that would have landed in one of the final states by definition, which means that the wx part is in, um, is in a, and now we're marking the state in the middle as being a final state, so that means we accept just the w part, which is exactly what the language is asking us to do. We're accepting just the w part, and originally we would have accepted the WX part. So I hope that was interesting. Leave a comment below if you were able to find it out a different way. I'm not sure if there is another way of doing it, but it's, it's certainly, there may be another way. As always, please like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps with the growth of the channel. Comments really help also. And as always, I'll see you next time.